So a brand wants to measure and monitor their community, mm -hmm. correct? But they want it to be free. They, want to put, they don't want to put limitations on it. They want people to communicate inside that community. Mm -hmm. And the tools, like you've mentioned, Twitter and Facebook, allow that. Talk to me about tools that are outside Twitter and Facebook, say mobile or gaming. How can a brand use that to enhance or create their community? I think probably the thing that I'm most excited about in terms of where the social business marketplace is going is the rise of gaming. I think the intersection of gaming and social media is potentially transformative in that I believe the virtual world can effectively save the real world. Wow. Let me give you some concrete examples. You know, Zenga, the biggest maker of social games in the world, they created products inside their games such as you know, Farmville and Frontierville specific to Haiti and 100% of the proceeds of the sale of those virtual goods, those little you know, avatars that you place inside your game that may cost 99 cents, went, went to the victims of the Haiti earthquake. Wow. They then more recently just did that with the tsunami in Japan where across eight and eventually 10 of their games, they did that, raising millions of dollars in the space of a few days. And when you consider the gaming market, the virtual goods market here in the United States alone in 2010 was $2 billion. It's estimated to reach $6 billion by 2014. If a small proportion of each of those purchases has a built-in contribution to social change, let alone 100% of the proceeds, mm -hmm. that is incredibly powerful when you consider the explosion of social gaming around the world. And one of the things it addresses, which has been proven sadly in the last few years, is when there are so many natural disasters, unexpected natural disasters, donor fatigue is a real concern. You know, with the floods in Pakistan, you know, they really struggled to get the funding at first they needed to help the victims there. But if you do have things like, you know, virtual goods from gaming contributing towards social causes, you can suddenly tap into the engine of capitalism, the power of the private sector, the addictive nature of gaming to scale your response and get the resources you need. Okay, gaming, let's talk about mobile. How can mobile help build or enhance a community for a brand? Well, I think mobile, as we all know, is the force that's coming towards us at a rapid pace in the next two or three years. And really, two things. Firstly, the millennial generation. You know, this driving force of social change don't know anything else but then living and communicating through their mobile handset. So it's a very powerful tool, both in terms of rewarding a brand for what it's doing, but also punishing a brand because you can communicate in real time with what they're doing. Secondly, you know, location-based services or augmented reality. Location-based services like Foursquare and like Facebook Places allows people to check in in a given place and be rewarded on that basis. Now that may take the form of a badge or it may be a contribution to mm -hmm. a charity. Secondly, augmented reality is basically the ability to look at something through your smartphone and you see additional information suspended in the air around that object. Now imagine that was information about the cause that a brand may support hmm. or you know, information about a region or a place that you didn't know was there or in a way that brings the brand to life in a way that they otherwise you know, wouldn't have been able to in recent sure. times. And then finally, in terms of mobile and their impact, you know, Group collective activities, such as you see with Groupon or Living Social, these two companies basically incentivize people to work together by allowing a deal, uh, the, the price of a given good, to tip when a sufficient number of people have signed on to that deal. Now, what if we also harness contribution in that sense? If 100 people signed up for that given you know, flat screen TV, that a contribution would be made by that brand to a given cause. So all of these tools are a way for the you know, brands to not only build their community, but also to scale the contribution that that brand makes to a given cause, which in turn is meaningful to that community.